Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we have been in the LZ Alpha for 312 days, taking Gen 10 duplicates with us into the future in the most comfortable way we possibly can. And talking of comfort, we seem to actually be at the situation today where our power is just about making out on even. If I come over here to the heavy watt wire and click on the energy, you can see we are we're currently losing power from our batteries, but every now and then it does start going back up as you can see. So I like to think of this as a net negative situation, which is a bit of a shame because what I actually want to do is turn my uh, atmospheric check, check suit back on so that we can come down here and start working on a new system to make lots more power. This new system is of course the oil system that we have down here. It has been causing me troubles for a couple of episodes now, mainly because of the temperature and lack of power. But thankfully, over on this corner of our base, we can see that the uh, natural gas generator has fired back up and appears to be running at full efficiency. If we have a quick look over here, you can see that all the gas has been backed up. It's pushing out at the highest rate it possibly can and seems to be providing for everything around. I am loving the way this is going. Uh, it is going incredibly well. Up top here, we have ourselves a bit of a steam situation, but unfortunately, we've got a dormant steam guides are there so we're just gonna have to wait and see what's going on at the top here you can see that we are setting up a self-powered oxygen situation uh, this should be a nice and wonderful providing oxygen for the base as well as power uh, but as I say the steam has shut down so the water supply has shut down we also need some wheeze warts and this is why we are digging over on uh, this side so you can see there's quite a few here it is this is the thing I was looking for uh, you can see that we've got quite a few things that we want to deal with today but as I say my main aim is to try and get the oil sorted out but as we all know, the things that I say in the intro are almost never what we get down to in the episode. Another issue that we have just over here, you can see this desalinator for the water. It is one of the things providing all the liquids for one of our oxygen setups here. And you can see that it's actually stopped working. It requires emptying. You might remember a little while ago, we had a little bit of a problem where I went and scrubbed all the priorities in the base. All Everything came down back to, uh, to a five. We managed to put up the grooming stations, but this desalinator also, merely because I think the distance from the base needs to be raised in priority for it to be workable. Even putting it up to a 7, you can see that we still have a few issues waiting for people to come through here. And there's something else that I have noticed. We need to allow access back into this room for these weeds warts to get working, even though the temperature is now actually... You know, you know, I've actually decided not to. I was like, hey, we want to get these weeds warts working, right, so that we can fertilize them. But actually, this hydrogen anti-entropy nullifier here seems to be doing quite well keeping the temperature down on its own. Ah, wunderbar. People are actually going ahead and using the atmospheric suits. Obviously, the, uh, the deep delvers down here... They have not had the chance to go back into the base and come back out. But I've decided that I'm going to run this ladder up as in a straight line here. So hopefully they won't be doing this whole little zigzaggy to get up to uh, to the work site. Okay, the uh, night time has been called. So I'm going to just go ahead and do something like that. Okay, cool. Where is my man Jelly? No, no, all right. We're going to keep keep this running and see how people are going to get down here to do this. Because we need to get the oxygen flowing tonight. Like literally tonight. There is no, no way we can survive on a situation where we only have carbon dioxide inside there. Now, it's quite nice that these guys are pumping it out. Let's press this. You can see that it's all just going through the filtration system and up into the waste gas line over here. That's pretty cool. This will get this down into a nice vacuum situation. I am about that. I'm just not about the lack of oxygen. Everyone seems to keep changing jobs, and I'm not sure what's going on. I think, I think it's the fact that, like, going to the toilet needs to be a thing. Yeah, but all the way through to the end of schedule. That, that is a great shame, actually. Especially given the, given the impassioned speech I just made. So the next day dawns, and even with a priority nine, Luna still reckons she has more important things to do. Uh, I mean, totally, life support than anti the desalinator. I suppose that is a good order there. Mad Frank, you can see, is taking a little bit of a wander up into the top. I've uh, decided to rearrange the little system that we have up here. You can see that this gas element sensor is one of my famous not oxygen sensors. Uh, it is busy not detecting oxygen. But if we have a look here, you can see that it's kind of built up this little little system here where it's got a small bubble of oxygen whilst being surrounded by hydrogen and I figured out that this might be to the fact that the sensor is literally right here so if we uh, extend it a little bit further away I'm hoping that the distance will allow the hydrogen to conglomerate around here before the gas pipe starts turning on and if I can find hydrogen in the list there we go this will then mean that it will stop giving out these little uh 
baubles of bubbles. That's what we're calling them. Bubbles of oxygen out of here. Because because that would be great, wouldn't it? Oh, and we've just watched Luna empty the desalinator. Wonderful. This should mean, hopefully, that now we start getting some water flowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And during all of this, can I please go and have a look and see what the power is doing? Actually, we're uh, we're doing very well. Very well. I, oh, oxygen. I, I said hydrogen and I clicked hydrogen. I wanted oxygen. It's a not oxygen sensor. <laughs> Uh, look at all the hatches that have hatched. Let's uh, let him out there as well. Does this mean we've still got one up here running around free? No, 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 it doesn't look like we have. Uh, I thought there was still an egg up here, but no, indeed not. This means that we are producing more coal, which is great. That's that's exactly what we're after. Hopefully this is getting topped up. We can have a look down here. Yeah, the whole... The, uh dirt is being delivered that's good what about over this side yes indeed the dirt is being delivered beautiful beautiful i'm just going to come down here and make sure that the sage hatch is also ticked because i've had a situation in the past where uh, i was feeding the hatch but not the sage hatch and they all died and uh, it was something that i really had to keep an eye on Okay, busting our way into the coal biome over here. You can see that Miss is uh, starting to dig through here. I'm expecting, yeah, there we go. It's a water geyser. All right, beautiful. Uh, it emits water at what temperature? At 95. I mean, that's pretty hot water, I've got to say, but not undealable. 95. I mean, are we just putting that into a steam turbine? I, I, I guess we are. Okay, something crazy that I'm going to do. These guys have been getting water from here and from down here. I do not want them to do that because you might see that we've got a little bit of a pitcher pump up here with a 300 kilograms of water in it. This has come from a little bit of a, uh, an accident we had a little while ago where we got all sorts of water going into this uh, polluted oxygen, uh, polluted water line. Sorry, uh, we ended up with all sorts of stuff falling down over here. But we solved most of that, including uh, emptying this line of mixed waters here. I would like actually to pump this off to a different area if we can we could probably just kind of drop it into this mixed pool of water we have over here but yeah as i was saying i've, I've closed the door off so hopefully now the uh, microbe musher will be fed via the power of this water over here and i want i want to turn that off as soon as it is actually a thing that happens ah somehow the gas flow has slowed down to this. Okay, that, that that's the thing. Somehow the gas flow has flowed, uh, slowed down to my natural gas generators over here. Uh, that that's a, That is a bit vexing. I'm not sure exactly what caused it, whether we ran out of gas in here and it shut down or what, uh, but it's caused us a little bit of a power droppage. Hopefully someone will come along and jump into here. This has got to be definitely one of the other things that is like super high priority, uh, and this should kickstart the whole situation again, question mark, hopefully, as long as someone can do that and would like to get the power from here as well, if possible. Man, we, we need to get these other atmospheric suits going, but uh, look at it all. It's now all just no. Okay, first thing everybody did was go and grab a bunch of coal and put it into the coal generators. I wonder if this now means that I can re-enable the building. Uh, with, this still doesn't have a power, an energy slot on it. Uh, but if we now come up to the top here, uh, we're still consuming what we're producing. So during the day, I've put a small gas stacker here into uh, this sort of dead space that I've got over here because I was noticing that mainly we're just putting out these tiny, tiny packets of hydrogen. And I'd like to put out a little bit more than that. We've also got a little bubble of oxygen going around there just to try and make that into a larger thing. Well, it's actually because this spat it out, but, you know, it's going to make it into a larger bubble. And eventually one of these should come spitting out here. We're just watching these hydrogen bubbles uh, grow in size until eventually it's going to spit one of the little ones out just to be really awkward, isn't it? But eventually this should actually spit out a large bubble. Okay, just little ones. Uh, do I care that much? I kind of do. Okay, we're going to try and alert our abuse our way into a quick build here. I don't think it's going to work, unfortunately. I think uh, Shroudkus is going to just make the delivery, but we'll find out. I also had this gas pipe back here, but yeah, yeah, no, no one can do it. All right, back down to nine, whatever. Okay, we've put an extra pipe on this, an extra bridge on this, and hopefully now it will... Uh, oh, look, we got a lot of oxygen coming through with that as well. That's uh, that's okay, though, I suppose, but hopefully now this will be in a sort of situation where it spits big packets out. Oh no, we'll find out. Okay, so that's a theory that kind of works. I have also seen a little packet escape from here as well. And I'm a little bit worried about that. I have seen other designs out there that are much more complicated than this that will make sure that only one, uh, only full packets come out. But you know what? I'm not, I'm not that bothered. This is nice and simple, nice and easy to implement. So I'm just going to work with it. So I haven't watched the game for a little bit and panicking about what we're going to do about all the power. Because as you can see, we are still hitting the point where we are running out of power and having to get duplicates into a run the pumps just to get the gas flowing. I think we're going to duplicate this.
this all the way down here and sort out this no not these guys this one here you can see we've got an actual gas guys are right there that's good this is going to be pumping out 592 grams per second every uh ooh. Oh man, quarter of the time that it's awake. So it's not going to be amazing, but it is going to be better than uh, trying to get the duplicates down here to burn themselves and make a, uh, a petroleum factory. So we're just going to make this down there. Okay, start the preparations over here. You can see we're going to have a couple of natural gas generators. We've got the uh, natural gas geyser down here. We're going to pull the, the actual gas up and over and down under this way. I don't know if they're up and over. We're just going to let this vent out here, but we're going to put it down under here. And the ventilation, of course, is going to have the uh, radio gas pipes coming through for the hydrogen because that's a very important part of what's going on here it's um we don't want anything to overheat uh, like that maybe i think that's probably a good way we'll actually change that for insulated gas pipes we're gonna have to cancel that and replace it but of course we want uh we want this bit to be chill not this bit so we'll uh we'll do it like that so to save duplicates killing themselves, I've gone and put everything at priority one down here. I want to go ahead and put this and uh, uh, allow people to have permissions. Wow, totally uh, stumbled over my words there. And of course, the most important bit is to turn this one back on. Uh, and that way we won't have duplicates cooking themselves. The lack of power is a problem, but hopefully the moment someone comes down here, we can start moving this gas and it will all uh, work out pro quite well. Okay, hilariously, we've got Jelly and Misaligned down here. I think they might be... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so we've got the Cypher coming off over this way, but we've also got Misaligned and Jelly coming down into the main area down here. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. I've turned all this, as I say, into a priority one, so hopefully they're just going to get working up here. It's kind of where we want them to work. Oh, Jelly, where are you going, buddy? It's uh, He's going to go store some crude oil. Okay, that's that's actually probably a very good idea. I've got a feeling, though, that he's going to uh, hold his breath. He's going to, sorry, lose his breath before he gets up to the top and maybe yep there it goes drop that crude oil back down it's a little bit of a shame that that is the case but you know that's the way sometimes yeah we've got the good dr captain subs here trying to run up the energy inside this battery we're getting some energy stored so that's pretty good uh, hopefully that means we have got carbon uh, not carbon sorry my my very bad there we have got natural gas flowing as well so this should hopefully fingers crossed provide power for the base now I'm not sure if this is mean or amusing. We've got a whole bunch of salt water being dug out and being let drop down this ladder here, where unfortunately Luna is uh, having to deal with that particular piece of fallout. Doing a very good job keeping the place clean, but I kind of wanted to get everything else as well. Oh well. Mad Frank going in inside the actual danger zone here. Thankfully, the natural gas geyser has not been outgassing, so we don't have to worry about it. It's because we've got it still encased in a whole bunch of blocks here. Uh, speaking of encased, if I don't do this, we're not going to be able to get the duplicates up and over, and I suppose we're also going to need some coming down uh, this side. Beautiful. Given how terribly this packet mixer does, like look at the size of these chunks coming out of here, I am shocked at how well this does at uh, stacking all the different gases together. Um, so it turns out, for, for my mind, that this use case is only for this like ridiculously mixed set of gases coming in here. If you have just a, uh, a few number of gases coming in, this probably isn't the ideal scenario for you. One cycle down, we got a lot of salt water being spilled. I think I'm okay with this as long as it all drains out of the bottom and down this way it should all be fine I really actually want to try and connect this to the uh, to the lava down here and watch it all flash into steam but then of course we have trouble with water coming up here and condensing and then falling back down flashing into steam and all we'll actually be doing is transferring the heat up into the ice biome which uh, I don't think is what we actually want mm, we do very much have issues of water freezing in this pipe I'm going to disconnect this one uh, and hopefully it will then flow back down to here uh, until we can actually hook up the the, the old uh, crude oil pumps here. Yeah, as you can see, they are freezing. The water is freezing into the pipes, and we are getting problems. Oh, 10, 10 kilograms at minus two. That's that's going to be a real problem. Okay, so today, Misaline and Jelly got some. Uh, not Jelly. I was. Oh, I was hoping you were mad, Frank. But okay. Well, Misaline and Jelly got themselves some exosuits here. So hopefully, they can come down and start uh, building these pretty sharpish. I've set all this out of igneous rock. Do you know what? Well, that is a mistake. We should have built this out of sedimentary, given the uh, materials that are available to us here. And so I am going to change this. Oh no 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 no! All right, Miss, don't do that. Wow, that that could have been a, a bit of a problem right there. That would have uh, woken up the gas guys. I mean, it says it's dormant, so it probably would have been okay. 
But man, we are not ready for that level of outgassing, especially with this big gap in the top here. A little disappointing that we need to keep topping up the batteries to this when this is the thing that's providing the power. I almost want to have some sort of way of isolating this from the entire grid and then turning shutoffs on and off depending on whether this battery has enough power in it or not. We'll give something like that a go down here, I think. Oh, miss, where are you going? Uh, legit P1. All right, let's uh, let's put these up to P7 and see if Miss is won over by that. I mean, there's no more digging orders, but she is kind of on build uh, team build as well. Yeah, look at this. The dig is just, like, too much for her. Eventually, we'll get to the point where she can't actually go... Ah, the ladders are going to be uh, providing little walkover spaces, right? Because she doesn't know how to dig... Uh, sorry, how to build. She doesn't know how to build, but because she won't build... She'll leave the ladders as they are, uh, and then use those as stepping stones, which, you know, kind of cool, but also... Uh... Oh, no, she's now coming down here. All right, I'm going to have to cancel this bunch of big orders, at least, because this crude oil is quite high under pressure, and I don't think we want to let it out yet. Oh, finally, Mad Frank shows up for work. Well, welcome, mate. Only halfway through the day. Good, good work, good work. Miss had managed to dig herself into a little bit of an issue here, but I think I've solved it with the good application of a Power 9 play. Might have been knocking mad Frank earlier, but he's pretty much the only one that showed up for work down here today. Everyone else is just running past. All right, another cycle down. We've got most of the airlock done over here. We're starting to put some of the radiant gas pipe into place. We've got all of the uh, blocks and stuff taken out of the way. I don't know what you call them, tiles of materials taken out of the way. And people are just starting to deliver all the sedimentary rock to make this work. I'm thinking about taking the uh, hot gas line up over here because if we press an F7, you can see that there's also a hot gas line coming out this way. So I think maybe we're going to extend this ladder down. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Uh, this is going to be a little bit awkward look, because of this uh, gas pump, uh, liquid pump, sorry. But I think it's something that will just get upgraded as we go along. Ah, is, is, is that really what I want to do? Or do I particularly actually want to go up that way? That might be the case. Let's have a look here. Let's get the insulated gas pipe out. Uh, let's try, yeah, like down here. And that way we kind of avoid this whole uh, messy situation over here. And then we can follow it with a ladder as well. And that should make it so people can actually make this. Forrest keeps saying he's idle, despite the fact that we've got a research station. I mean, this is missing some stuff. Well, why aren't you Why aren't you doing it? Uh, yeah, there is the advanced research we need. Dude, I, I need you to do this. Yeah, he's powered, look. No problem. Hmm. All right, I blatted it with the uh, alert abuse, and we, uh, we seem to have a lot of people delivering water now. This is good, but none of them are taking from this bit. This is where I want them to take from. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look, she dug herself into a bit of a weird situation again. I mean, I suppose that's kind of cool. We're going to get the whole thing done out, but oh, it means that she's not going to escape when it comes to downtime. Maybe we'll just let her carry on digging. I, I think that might be a winner there. Thankfully, escape had actually happened. Mad Frank came along and uh, built a whole bunch of ladders there. Nice. And whilst they're going past it, look, all the water has been drained up through here. So no longer do we have, like, frozen wa well, water trying to freeze in the pipes. Awesome. Yeah, I've noticed that these two slicksters are kind of trapped in here. They're hungry. They're overcrowded. They're having basically a bit of a bad time. So we're going to see if we can't get misaligned to just kind of free them out here. I'm not sure whether that's actually going to work, but we are definitely going to give it a go. I'm hoping that they can just kind of, like, hop, hop, hop and get out of here uh, rather than get flooded and then never escape again, as I think might actually be the case. But... We're going to give it a go. This poor Draco is also going to be in bad times. Uh, okay, is is that good? Are you guys now able to escape? Uh, I kind of hope so, but I'm doubting it given what I'm watching it go down here. Mainly because they're all kind of like holding, holding themselves over here. Oh, okay, they're happy again. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, they are, however, all drowning now. That's, uh, that's pretty bad. Okay, let's go uh, this... I want the igneous rock because that's what we're around. I'm going to put it down at a super high priority. Uh, and there we go. Let's see what happens here. This should now just be absolute carnage for a little bit. You know, actually, honestly, we don't need that one, that one, that one, or this one. Okay, this this should be good now. Hopefully, everyone's just going to go around, make the deliveries to the places they need to be, and uh, build them up pretty quickly. Hopefully, Mad Frank is going to be on the majority of that because he is indeed the fastest builder, though everybody else is going to try and get themselves involved as well because it's the super high priority, so everybody is like all, down, all hands on deck. Uh, of course, this does mean it's only the hands that actually have been able to get their hands on 
on an atmosphere suit, but it should work out. Okay, there's another one going in there. I'm really worried that they are uh, big troubles. Okay, how about, can we slick though? We can't uh, wrangle them. That's also a big problem there. I mean, you guys are doing pretty well, but just this last one, and then we can then watch them escape. No, no one? Uh, no, okay, fine. Aaron's jelly. Je my, my buddy, how are you doing? You, you really need to get down here and try and save these guys. I'm not saying it's all your fault if, uh, if these guys don't get saved, but it's kind of all your fault if they don't get saved. Right, let's see what happens here. Ignis has been delivered. Oh, man. Come on, come on miss. Where are you at? All the way up there. Ooh, that's, that's a bit more of a problem than I thought it was going to be. Uh, uh, so there goes one thing. There goes another. Oh, uh, uh, and it's all just cascade effects. It's Jelly's fault, obviously. Luna appears to be quite the committed carnivore. She will travel a long way across the map for a bit of meat. I uh, noticed that Miss Line hadn't turned up for work today. I was like, okay, what's going on? I clicked on her box. Well, I clicked on this up here to uh, take me to her, and uh, yeah, she she'd be asleep. Crazy. Am I not like, am I not giving these guys enough time to sleep? I thought I was. Okay, whilst we wait for all this to get finished, I've got a few ideas I want to run through. You might have noticed that in a variety of situations, we end up with one liquid on top of another, and I generally want to try and clean up that top liquid. I want to see whether this is going to work. If I put down a bunch of mesh tiles here, am I going to be able to get people in to be able to mop the layer up here, this up here? I don't know. It says it's not on the floor, but I think if you put the mesh tiles in, it might become on the floor. Two idle dupes. What's going on? Hey, guys. What, 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 are you, what are you doing there? That's that's not cool, yo. That's not cool. And then what's Miss doing? Uh, I, I don't know where she's at, but we need to fix that. All right. Can you get out and do a thing now? Uh, he's the sedimentary rock and away. All right, beautiful, beautiful. That's a problem solved, guys. Oh, 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 I got an achievement. We got an achievement. Uh, literally, all I did was uh, check the gas layers and come over here. But it was like, hey, have a duplicate with the masterwork skills. Paint a masterpiece masterpiece quality. That That's cool. Where did we get that done? That's got to be up and in the base somewhere. I was not aware. Is that the one masterpiece? I was not aware anybody was that good at the arts. Let's have a look at the priorities. One of these guys is going to have a much higher... Uh, much higher art skill. Uh, where is it? Attacking life support. Decorating, maybe? I don't know. Let's have a look. It looks like Luna has the highest priorities there, but also Mimi as well. Yeah, the creativity skill of three. That's pretty good. Looks like we should um, possibly in encourage Luna to be an artist. Yeah, maybe. I mean, creativity skill of nine. Wow. All right, and here she goes straight away. All right, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Let's watch this happen. As we say, oh, no. Why is everybody hungry at the moment? I don't think we're running out of food, are we? Let's have a look. The edibles. No, the food seems to be at a uh, fairly consistent rate, complete with barbecue and mushrooms and such. So I'm not sure why everybody is uh, is having problems. I'm, I'm assuming, actually, the problem is I'm not giving them enough time to go and get some food. I might even, like, lengthen the relaxed day out. Uh, I mean, there we go. That is the, the day there. Hmm... Hmm. No, maybe I won't. <laughs> okay, I've had enough people not coming along and doing the job that I have decided is far more important. So I'm going to uh, hit the old alert abuse and try and get people involved over here. we got Jelly all the way down below. Hey, dude, why are you letting carbon dioxide into this room? This is not where you should be. We should actually try and probably empty this place out. we got a little bit of liquid there, so that could probably be helping. Uh, and Luna is the other. All right, here she comes. That is beautiful. We're going to try and get as many of these done as possible. The reason that I am suddenly panicking about it... I don't, oh, I'm panicking's a little bit strong there. But you can see that we've got a bunch of slitsters up the top. And more importantly, we've got all of this oil starting to build up down here. Now, for some reason, the oil refinery hasn't been turning over quite as quickly as it could do. Uh, so we need to consume, uh, consume the oil, really. Um, but... I want to deal with the uh, petroleum first. That, that's the big thing. And then we can get on with uh, consuming that oil. And maybe killing some slicks. I'm not sure. Give me, give me your guys' feedback about that. Talking of feedback, wow, look at this. we got a whole bunch of satch, uh, of sage hatchlings up here. Or satchlings, so that'll do. Uh, this guy, we need to get him out of here. Are we starving? I mean, he's going to die anyway. I might uh, might go ahead and just go... Yeah, let's go with the attack there. He's just... He's totally in the wrong... I mean, can we lure him out? I'm, 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 I, feel, I feel a little bit... They look like it's a little bit strong just to attack him. And if I do that, oh, we can mop. Look, it is a winner. It is a winner. I'm all about it. Okay, let's get this rolling. Okay, this is be the last pile put in place. You can tile, sorry. You can see that we've started getting a little bit of petroleum picked up there, and I think it's going to work out pretty well across the entire thing, actually. Uh, then we want to start breaking this back down and trying to uh, to get the materials out of there, right? 
So whilst I leave these two working on this uh, this gas generator pie area over here, up over here you can see that I have destroyed a whole bunch of batteries. I've still got a bit of a plan on how to try and fix this. Coming to the power and down below we should have a smart battery. I want to hook the smart battery up to this system here. I then also want to come to the automation. No, I don't. I just saw what I wanted down here. We want the power shut off. Beautiful. I'm just going to put that straight there and then I'm going to go for the automation and of course join these two up like so. So hopefully the plan will be when the smart battery is below a certain level of power uh, we are going to isolate this entire unit here off from the grid meaning that hopefully the uh, gas generators here will produce more power to fill up the battery take it over a certain threshold but more importantly keep this gas pump turning we are not going to be sending any power out of the base unless this gas pump is putting power enough power even into these machines to keep this battery into a positive flow that's the plan hopefully it's going to work you can see we've got Shrouticus over here uh, coming along to build some of the materials some of these things are going to take some time to do and I've, uh, how do I always do this right at downtime I, I don't know how I do this guys I should probably start talking in the beginning of the day or something right okay one of the things we did a little while ago was seal this door off in the hopes that people would start using the pitch pump up here I don't think that's actually going to happen now uh, I, I've got a feeling people are not going to be doing what we need them to be doing now we kind of want to leave this here for the uh, arboreal plants here you can see the irrigation that they need is in deep polluted water which seems to be a bit of a problem at the moment so what I'm going to do uh, is destroy that yeah I'm going to destroy that and we're going to throw down a bunch of mesh tiles possibly uh, I don't know whether we're going to go under here that's the big problem uh, I, I suppose we're going to have to maybe I can come along and build uh, just some normal tiles across the top like this and then we can build the mesh tiles underneath and not destroy the the stables Hopefully. Go, Luna, go! I'm sure you can make it. I'm totally not certain that you're going to run out of oxygen and have to run away before that this construction error gets done. Where is Mad Frank? He would be the ideal person to do this because he will get this finished in, like, no time at all. How about if I, uh, bam! Oh, Dr. Captain Subs. I mean, great. I'm, I really admire the way that you volunteer for just about every job that comes along, but I really wanted the guy that was running past it to go and do it. Oh, well. Okay, so we have a double system on the go here. So let's see what we've got. I'm going to say the low threshold is going to be, oh, I don't know, 35. And let's say the high threshold is 80. I have no idea if that's the way around we want to have it, actually. Or maybe we want to have it the other way. Let's see what's going on. This is the first time I've actually come around to be using one of these. And uh, I, I would like to know... Uh, so now that it's low, I want it to shut off, right? Is that is these on two separates? With the light on activated, is that how it works? Or does it indeed work like a... Uh, the word that I'm looking for is like a plug. Okay, we can't swap those round. What if we do this? We can't seem to open it at all, actually. Okay, I think we're going to have to send a not signal through. Looking at the way this works here. Yeah, it's opened it up at the wrong time. So if I go 10 and 90, uh, we will then need to break some contraptions here. Let's get these automation wires out um, and go for the automation in here somewhere is a not gate. We'll pop this over the top just so we can see it when we're planning out our moves later. All right, it's taken the majority of the day, but I think we're actually there. We are below, well, we were below 10%, so the thing opened up using the power of the knot gate. Now, hopefully, when this reaches up to a 90% threshold, though it doesn't look like it's doing that, and I'm not sure why. Yeah, here we go. We're just getting more power. Okay, that's good. Now, hopefully, when this reaches up to a 90% threshold, it should then snap back down. I don't want a 90% of, uh, of course, 18, of course. But you can see that what this has actually been doing is charging this battery whilst that has been open, hopefully causing this to be a self-perpetuating system. That is the plan. That's what this whole thing has been about. Trying to uh, make it so that this uh, manual generator down here should should never really get need to be needed until this like natural gas geyser dies again and becomes dormant and then needs kickstarting at the uh, other side of that cycle. So uh, yeah, cool. And we're going to be doing exactly the same down here. It's an interesting charge and discharge cycle. I'm very interested in the way that it um, like takes so long to do either state. I would have thought it would have been a constant. Uh, it comes down to 10, this snaps open, and then we would have gone plowing back up to this, then uh, hitting the top marker, letting the power flow, and then draining back down. But as you can see, it's quite a, a halting process. The, it ju jumps up a little bit, and then it stops for a little bit, and then it jumps up for a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. I thought it would have been a smooth process, but 
but no. Must be something. Must be something to do with the way that this distribution network works here. I, I don't know. Answers in the comments down below if you guys have any idea. I think in an effort to get a more consistent flow rate, I'm going to try and close down one of these generators over here and see if we can then get, I don't know, maybe a bit of, bit more backing up of the natural gas. That'd be quite nice. I'm not sure if it's actually the ideal situation, but it'd be nice to have it there for when the, uh, the geyser isn't emit emitting or erupting or any other word you want to use. Okay, we had a bit of a watery accident down here, but I let the water flow out, and so it should end up all okay. Here we have the entire gas chamber, or the gas extraction chamber, all set up and ready to go. I'm afraid we're going to have to leave the actual generator until next time, because today we've gone around, we've done a whole a bunch of stuff. We've made some sort of regulator onto the uh, the gas generator over here. I actually like this. Uh, if you guys want to use this again, as I say, it's just the smart battery. Uh, I thought it was Shift F12 for that. Shift F2. Uh, it's the smart battery going up into a knock gate down onto the uh, power shut off there uh, set up like so uh, that that will do you do you really well for self-regulating a little power system over here but uh, yeah as I say I will see you next time when we're gonna get on with the power generation down below I'll see you then we can do that bye